you have to understand that trading guys is hard you know it requires daily work for us in the community when we trade in our private group in the mastery program we trade two hours a day you know that's the the max even even that we trade less than that but still every day you show up every day you look at the tape every day you structure some swing trading long-term investing play and some very few day trading uh play on the futures the spx the spy options this is what we specialize on in in the day trading because high volume high open interest small spread re, uh, implies that you have more control you can get in you can get out there's a lot of liquidity right but you have to understand also that investing right for the long term and that's why also the indicators will help you without past promises will help you this is more forgiving investing is for is more forgiving if you sit on good companies or good etf for the long term eventually it's going to be forgiving because it's going to come back right it's like real estate you you might be terribly wrong in the economic cycle buying real estate but if you leave yourself to keep up time you are going to do well eventually okay but in day trading it's a different ball game because most lose right uh <laughs> unfortunately that's the uh sad truth of uh day trading right so i want i want you to be uh, uh, uh very cognizant of that because when you are cognizant of that then you uh adjust your portfolio where most of your uh, um, uh, network is focused and focalized in a long-term investment right so if you do persist in day trading you got to monitor yourself you know uh, uh trading require hard work especially the first two years like the first two years in trading is really really hard because you ingrain uh, good habits bad habits right in your trading and good money management so what are the what are the type of metrics that you need to look at so this is an example this is an example this is not a promise this is my trading this morning with the guys okay it's not a, a promise i just want to explain the logic of some of the metrics regarding of indicators right regarding of everything else that you really need to focus if you are going to day trade and then we are going to progress in the discussion for asset and income right so the stuff that are critical for me obviously are I, how many trades i have done those are included some of the intranight so typically if you look at the the numbers of trade the less trade obviously the less mistakes i repeat the less you do the more you make uh, let, let's let, let's let's that sink the less you trade the more you make the less you see the more you make the less hours you spend day trading the more you make why because it's like playing a chess game if i am going to play a chess game the entire day from 8 a.m right in my life to 4 p.m every day because that includes my prep my 8 a.m 9 30 p.m 9 30 a.m prep you increase the numbers of mistakes right and it is very very hard in trading i repeat it's very 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 hard to do a lot of trades and be right so like for instance this number of trade here it's terrible it's 24 trades right but don't forget it was last night's trade which i woke up this morning and i was losing some and then i caught up with the guys then i did another bad trade that i got caught up on the es and then i crushed it right but the point of the matter of, of this discussion is what are the metrics that help us as traders and investors especially traders because this is this is what we do this is what we do to 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 come every day may spend the time you know and hopefully create enough income to re-inject in our long-term investing for asset and income right so it's kind of like the wheel you're not you're 10 in in day trading 
re-inject in your long-term investing where you have 80 to 90% of all your assets in the stock market that buy real company, real product, real, uh, real people, right? And that provides also income by selling deep out of the money put, of course, to provide extra income for you guys, okay? Now, do you guys see the screen, everyone? Can the, do you guys see the screen? I'm talking to myself and just on the camera. We good? Okay, thanks, Charles, Stefan. So, couple of metrics that are super important. And you can also do an Excel uh, spreadsheet and I'll show you a very simple Excel spreadsheet you can do if you don't have advanced uh, 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 monitoring for your account and advanced uh, uh, metrics, okay? And there's companies as well that helps you, I think, selling some, some, some metrics. I mean, I'm not very familiar with them, but I know they exist. And this is how most prop firms, most companies are going to uh, 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 judge you and you should judge yourself, which is how many trades you've done, how many winning trades you've done, and how many losing trades you've done. That is going to bring you a win to lose ratio right there, right? So like if you look this morning, this is a 66% uh, probability of winning, 33% probability of losing, and the second aspect of the ratio you have to look at to help you in your trading is, okay, what is my average uh, winning trade in terms of dollars? Because it's cash flow. And what's my average losing trade? Now, you're going to be surprised that over time when you track that, right? Over time when you track that, you are going to have an idea of what's your average percentage win and lose over a period of 60 days to 90 days, you are going to say, okay, if I take all my average win, all my average losses and I divide, I, you, you kind of have a professional feel of where you stand, right? Of course, sometimes you have this thing, which is kind of the yo-yo, which I'm not a big fan, where you have a little loss, you have a little profit, you have a little loss, and finally you nail it, right? Okay, but generally speaking, those are very important metrics to look at. So if you do not have this, don't despair. At a very minimum, do a very simple spreadsheet like this. Can everybody see my spreadsheet? Okay, so this is what I call the spreadsheet for, for success. If you don't have your own metrics, create your own metrics. It's a very simple spreadsheet you can create. So look, I'm like, okay, What's my max daily loss for the day, right? So stop being disciplined. Everybody's different. Everybody has different account. What's my maximum drawdown in the entire account? Okay, so let's say you start, I don't know me, with a $25,000 account trading futures, a $1,500 drawdown tells me at uh, what, 235, that's it, I'm down. The system is going to lock me up. Okay, at $500 per day, daily loss, the system is going to lock me up. So I kind of like those system if you can have them, if you don't have, if you don't have them, you've got to discipline yourself. And then same process, you, 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 tra you, you track your trades here. So here I took some examples just to show you kind of the logic, the numbers of trade, the winning, the losing, the win ratio, the lose ratio, the PNL, because at the end, it's the PNL. Like for instance, here, let's look at something. Look here. One of the worst win lose ratio was 40%, and yet it was the best trading day. Do you see that? Right? And here, sometimes you can have a, you can have like a great uh, 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 win ratios, right? And still uh, uh, lose. Or you can have a, a, a huge lose uh, high lose ratio and and still win right uh, another important aspect of your day is kind of journaling you know it takes like why what did you do wrong right so like here did okay changing mes to es to catching like i'm giving you example of like previous stuff i took like three or four examples with a couple of that uh, trade just after the report did not let the market stabilize till the open so you see now you see you have your matrix you have your drawdown you come every day you track also your net liquidation value you trade your consistency 
you see now that being a, a, a consistent trader, guys, it, it requires a little work. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it and we would not have 80 to 90% of traders losing, right? So it, it requires some work. Everything in life that requires some skills requires work. You want to be an athlete, you have to bust yourself 10,000 hours, which is the point where you reach some mastery in your craft, right? This is no different. All you can, it's, it's short curve, shortcut your learning curve with some mentorship and, and the right communities, the right indicators, blah, blah, blah. but at the end of the day, you still have to put the work, you still have to be committed for success. It's not completely automated. This is not an algorithm, right? You have to overlay also on the indicator, you know, your own personality, your own self. Nobody at your house is going to go here, right? And if I remove that, nobody is going to tell you if you are going to make 10, unless you are in a professional environment in which they are going to fire you if you don't listen to their rule or they will stop you if you have a funded account, right? Nobody is going to prevent you to do a thousand trade today and blow up your account. So you got to have some discipline, some work on yourself if you really, really want to be good at this thing. Because the paradox of trading is this. This is the place where you can lose the fastest amount of money in the shortest amount of time in the entire world. There's not a job in the world where you say, I'm going to start at 8 a.m. and by noon, I'm going to lose $50,000. This not, they, does not exist. But in the same token, there's not the fastest place on earth to gain $50,000 from 8 a.m. To noon, it does not exist too. It does not exist in real estate. It does not exist with any jobs. So the work you are going to put on yourself year after year after year after year after year after year, you know, is going to inch you a little bit closer to be a better trader and a better trader and a better trader and a more consistent trader and a more consistent trader. But you are never going to be perfect at this, you know. I'm going to be 51 years old, right? I've done this since I was 28 years old, guys, right? 28, 20, 22 years old, right? And I'm still making mistakes, a mistake I did when I was 22 years old, 24 years old, 32 years old, because you're going to repeat those cousin of that mistake and that mistake, it's going to be like a little bit of a, of a mutation of the mistake. And hopefully this mistake, you'll do it a little bit less and a little bit less. And you know the Ray Dalio spin here. If you look at Ray Dalio, he has the, you know, the, I love this curve, you know, if you read his books, uh, and by the way, it's not just me telling you I love Ray Dalio right there, right? Same part of my book right there. So I don't make an affiliate commission, but change your life, change your thinking. Watch the principles for uh, your life and work from Ray Dalio. It's an interesting book, The Dead Cycles from Ray Dalio. Interesting. Anyhow, your life is going to be a, a series of this, right? The Ray Dalio loop, right? You know, you, are, you have goals, you know, you want to be a trader, you have failures, you have problems, right? Uh, what he says, you have to diagnose the problem, get to the bottom of the problem, right? Now you need to come up with a plan on the problem, right? And then you got to do the discipline. So this is one, if I'm right, should be five. Two, analyze the problem, diagnose the problem. Yeah, three, four, the plan and the doing, right? And everything you are going to do in life, guys, is going to be a series of loop like this. Series of decision, a goal, a problem, a diagnosis, a plan, a doing, right? And all you are going to do in trading is each time you try, you try to be back a little bit like this, and then the next problem comes a little bit like this. And when you look at your loop over your lifetime, you want to, this to be a little bit smoother, you know, and improving this way, right? This cannot be improved, guys, if you don't do this. Everything here is for 
educational purposes 